today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7, uh, I mean, Windows XP mode on uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. To show you that I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium, here you go. The Samsung All-in-One PC, wait, uh, touch display. I don't want to use the touch display lock. Yeah. Right here, touch input. Two touch points, so I can use two fingers to zoom in and zoom out. So, let's get started. First of all, you need to go to Microsoft.com. Or, in Google, you search for those. Windows 7 Home Premium, right? You're gonna select Ultimate. You got you choose Ultimate 32-bit or Ultimate 64-bit. Either one. As you can see, wait. As you can see, as you can see, I am running. 64-bit operating system. Yep, right here. 64-bit. If you want a 32-bit, you just click on a 32-bit. Well, I'm going to select 64 Then you select your language. Then you download these three programs. You do not need it if you're running Windows 7 Service Pack 1. Well, just download that just in case. Or you could just check over here to see if you have Service Pack 1. Service Pack 1, so you don't need that. Once you've downloaded all of that, I say buy that folder. So here you go. First of all, you're going to run the first program. Right here, Windows 6.1 KB95855. 64 refresh PKG you run it searching for updates I already did the update so it will go to update then you're gonna run and then you'll restart your computer then you're gonna run this I already did that update so then you, you gotta restart your computer again then you got you gotta download 7 zip zip extract to there I'll extract it this may take a while because it is a kind of all the virtual hard disk and other stuff so now you're gonna open up that then you have this sources go to sources XPF you're gonna extract that Put it. Computer. Local disk C. 
program files. And now I'm gonna find Windows Virtual PC. And then you're gonna put this. I'm gonna rename it. And put two. This is my second virtual machine. So I'm just gonna drag it in there. Continue. So then now you can launch with this virtual PC. You're gonna click create virtual machine and if an error pops up you do the update. So then you could type the name. I'm just gonna put my name. Now location Yes, next next I'm going to use an existing browse it this is my second one I'm going to use that I'm going to open it and then we're going to click create see now we'll, we'll launch the virtual machine there we go it's booting and as you can see I'm still running Windows at home premium right here <sighs> and guys so if you say this is virtual box it isn't as you can see it says windows virtual pc I accept this agreement. Customize it to your time, your number, your currency, your time. Next, computer name, Joey, PC. Administer your password. I don't want any password. So you should select the time. 935 935 now next it will load so next startup you have your new XP Booting. Automatic updates. Just gonna click automatic. Buy it. Getting really slow. Okay. Not responding. Imagine in a setup it doesn't respond. You're like, no, no. So when this pops up, you're going to click update. That's what it'll work. So now you have this. It's pretty, pretty nice. Until everything doesn't respond. And now.
great. <laughs> so now we can full screen it. There we go. And now it's in a whole screen. We could put my computer. That's my hard disk. Open it. Let's go to contents. Let's go to Windows and delete. No, I was gonna do it. Seriously, what the heck is wrong? So that's how you install Windows XP mode on Windows XP mode on Windows 7 Home Premium. And we're done. You got two. Sweetness. Bye.